Good evening. Welcome to our Advent devotional for December the 16th. I'm Reverend Sam Jones, the Associate Pastor. And our scripture lesson for tonight comes from Malachi, chapter 3, verses 16, verse 4 through 6. Hear these words. Then those who revered the Lord spoke with one another. The Lord took note and listened. And a book of remembrance was written before him of those who revered the Lord and thought on his name. They shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, my special possession on the day when I act, and I will spare them as parents spare their children who serve them. Then once more you shall see the difference between the righteous and the wicked, between one who serves God and one who does not serve him. See, the day is coming, burning like an oven, when all the arrogant and all evildoers will be stubble. The day that comes shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, so that it will leave them neither root nor branch. But for you who revere my name, the sun of righteousness shall rise with healing in its wings. You shall go out leaping like calves from the stall, and you shall tread down the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet, on the day when I act, says the Lord of hosts. Remember the teaching of my servant Moses, the statutes and ordinances that I commanded him at Horeb for all Israel. Lo, I will send you the prophet Elijah before the great and terrible day of the Lord comes. He will turn the hearts of parents to their children and the hearts of children to their parents so that I will not come and strike the land with a curse. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Do you ever feel as though it seems the entire world is turning away from God? Perhaps you feel as though you are being pushed to follow the crowd in the opposite direction. Are you struggling to remain steadfast in charting a different course that brings us to the glory of God? We know that the world is in desperate need of healing and redemption. Sometimes we forget to realize that we, like the faithful remnant of Jews that remained, have the ability and the responsibility to stay the course. We are a treasured possession in God's eyes. God reminds us that we are not a forgotten people. Those who are faithful are reminded by God that they shall be his. In the day when the Lord comes to set up his kingdom, why be faithful? Because the prophecy of the one who will come to save the world is about to be realized. As it is written, the sun of righteousness will rise with healing in its rays. Notice the metaphor here. The ray of sun will give the world exactly what it needs, healing. While we wait, let us continue to pray for patience, guidance, and for our own faithfulness. Let us pray. Most merciful God, we give you thanks for never abandoning us. Continue to give us patience as we wait for the coming of your Savior, the one who heals and redeems us. Amen.